Hi, my name is Walt Medlock. I'm a solutions architect with Advantech. The scope of this video is to show how to make the connection between an Advantech Edge device and Microsoft Azure Cloud Services using the Edge Link software from Advantech. I will go beyond the scope just a bit to show some data visualization by creating a stream analytics process, sending data to the Microsoft Power BI tool. In order for you to be able to complete this task, you will need several items. An Advantech Edge device, Advantech Edge Link software to configure the Edge device, a Microsoft Azure account. Azure offers free accounts for up to one year for some services. An open source program called Device Explorer Twin, which will allow us to verify data pushing through the shared access connection. And finally, a Power BI setup. I will be using the Power BI through Advantech Corporate Office 365 subscription. Now that we know the hardware and software requirements, here's a quick overview of the architecture. I'm using an Advantech ESRP PCS ECU 1251 Edge Gateway. LAN 1 is connected to the IT side and is set up for DHCP, while LAN 2 is on the OT side and has a static IP address. To configure this gateway, I'm running the Avantech EdgeLink Studio software and connected through a switch on the operation technology side to LAN port 2 of the hardware. The hardware can be configured through either port, but for this demonstration I will use the OT side since this is where many users might be connected for setup. Once the Edge gateway is configured, it will read tag values from the PLC into the local database and then push data up to the cloud at a predetermined publish rate. The diagram also shows other connections just for informational purposes. Here we see that multiple protocols are available over Ethernet and serial connections. Advantech offers a number of different pieces of hardware that support the EdgeLink software. Each has their own offerings for additional software and I.O. configuration. The Edge Analytics hardware also includes a Docker container with the Azure IoT Edge engine installed. This allows for more horsepower to do the larger job and run applications deployed from Azure. Now that we've seen the overview, let's get started with the demo. So now we've opened up the Advantech EdgeLink Studio. Uh, there's two sections. There's the online device and the project configuration. I've already created a project, uh, but we'll go over the settings to this. It's, uh, the name is ECU 1251. The identity is by IP address, and I've put the IP address of the device in here. Uh, I've created the connection to the PLC. It's a TCP connection. Uh, I've named it for Compact Logic's uh, device type, single write, and here is the IP address of that unit. I've created four tags, port A, port B, local DO.0, which is a bool and the local 2.0 data and these are all uh, uh, three ints in one bool and they're set to go. So those are, have been added. Uh, once you've gotten this far then the system settings will go to network. Here as, uh, as I said previously LAN 1 is DHCP. LAN 2 is set for a hard IP address and these have already been downloaded to the unit. So once you download the, to the unit, then you can go to the online device and search again. Uh, we're going to just verify what's going on here. So we'll log in with the zeros. When and you can click on IO tag. And you can see my values here, they're all good and they're all changing, with the exception of the digital outputs. If we go to system tags, you can see there's a system uptime and a system current time. We will use those as well. So back to the project. So you've seen the system settings and the setting for the tags. And now we want to go to the cloud settings. We're going to go to Azure, 
So to do Azure, you click the Enable. And the connection string that we copied earlier, we will paste here. And then it will populate these devices here. We will set the periodic publish to true and the periodic publish to five seconds. So to add tags, you just double click on this side and you select which ones you want. Uh, and then set it OK. So I've already selected port A, port B, uh, and the two system tags. When you're done, you hit apply. And then you click to download the project. Uh, first save and then download the project. So it will connect to the unit. And then we hit download. Now it restarts the unit. And you have to wait a few seconds before you can close. Restart success, we close, and now we can go back to the online section, log in again, default is eight zeros, and we can see that our IO tags are still good, and now you can go to the system information and system log. This will give you some information about the system itself. And as you can see, the Azure is publishing via MQTT. So we're good to go. And the next section, we will check the data that is being published to the cloud. So now we want to verify the data. And we want to open up the Device Explorer. I already have it installed. Uh, device Explorer. So we need a connection string for the device explorer. So let's go back to the, the Microsoft Azure Hub. We'll go to Home. We'll select our IoT Hub. And on the left-hand side, we want Shared Access Policies and IoT Hub Owner. And here on the right, we're going to get some shared access keys. And we'll copy to the clipboard this key. And then we'll take that key and paste it into the configuration here. We'll say paste and we'll click update. And update it successfully. Then we go to data and it found the ECU 1251. And we'll select monitor. And we can see that the, the data is being updated. There was a lot that came in because it was already publishing and we are getting caught up. So you can see every five seconds the data is being published. This is a verification of what's being sent to the cloud. We can hit clear and start it over again. We can hit cancel to stop it and uh, you can get a closer look at the data that's going on there. Now that we know the data is being published, we want to go back to Azure and create a stream job that's going to send data directly to the Power BI. So we're going to create a new resource. And we're going to search for stream analytics job. Now we'll create. The stream. resource group, well, existing one. Actually, we're going to change this name to ECU 1251 stream. And then we'll hit create, and it'll take a few seconds to deploy. Deploy it as success. Let's go to the resource. And now we want to create the inputs and outputs to this stream. Let's go to the inputs first. We're going to add a stream input from the IoT Hub. IoT Hub input. 
output. We'll save it. And now we'll go to the outputs. Where is it going to? It's going to our Power BI. So we can add and we want to select Power BI. Now it wants to authorize my account. So it's going to log me into the uh, Microsoft Azure. And this is with my Office 365 account with my company. Tim at Vantech.com. Password. I uh, will say yes. Stay signed in. So the output alias this is going to be ECU 1251 data. Data set name ECU. 1251 data set table name ECU 1251 table we'll save and now that's already created over in my Power BI so I won't have to create it once I get over there I've already authorized it to, to set up so everything's a connection test is successful. So now we want to do a query and look at the data coming in. So here it's created two different aliases. So for the output alias, as you see down here, it says your output alias. I want to change that to match this word here, which is ECU 1251 data. And you see the other will disappear and then we'll do the same here. IOT hub input and we're good to go so now we've got these matched I want to test the query so take a few moments and you'll see the test results here in the bottom okay so you can see port A port B sys up time uh, we got timestamps, everything's ready to go. So now we can go back to query, or excuse me, we can go to the top here, overview. Oops, almost forgot to save. So save the query, cancel. If you don't save, it's a good move. Okay, so now we can go to overview and we're going to start the stream and this is going to start streaming over to the Power BI. You can hit start. And this takes a few moments as well. And you can click this up notifications up here to see what's going on. Okay, you can see here the job is now running. So now we'll go to Power BI and do a sample dashboard. So we'll do the next tab, Power BI, Microsoft.com. We'll do sign in. And it should already have me signed in. So we want to go to my workspace. And you can see the data set is already there. So we'll do new. We're going to do a dashboard. My dashboard. So here's the dashboard. It's empty. We're going to select the options here. We're going to add a tile. And scroll down. Custom stream data. Here is our data set. Next. We want this to be a gauge. And we'll add a value. Click in here. You can see the it's already populated. We'll do port A. Uh, next. And we can give it a title. My title. Apply. So you can see that this is already running. Uh, we can uh, edit the details. 
We can uh, add some extra things if we wish. Tile details. Let's do cancel. So there you go. That's a quick dashboard. We can add one more tile here. We will do again the custom streaming data. We'll use this one again. Next, and this time we'll do a card, add a value, and we'll do port B, and units, auto, decimal places. We're going to do none on the units, so it gives the full value. Next, apply, and here they're wanting to create a phone view. So there you have it, a quick uh, dashboard through my stream analytics job, publishing every five seconds.